Okay, so welcome back to my new video. Um, this video, um, I'm actually going to be talking about ingress, ingress controllers. Okay, so the basic idea with ingress controllers is to um, route traffic or to direct traffic to um, certain services within um, your port or within your Kubernetes clusters. So there's this um, first layer, which is the ingress controller layer, which then accepts all the traffic, incoming traffic to your uh, services in your Kubernetes clusters, and then direct them uh, by certain uh, rules, okay, or set by certain endpoints um, that get directed to the services. And those services might have the same port or different ports. Um, yeah, so basically that is the idea behind ingress controllers. Okay, so um, an API object that manages external access to the services in a cluster, typically HTTP, Ingress may also provide load balancing services, um, SSL termination, as well as name-based virtual hosting. Ingress exposes HTTP as well as HTTPS routes from outside the cluster to services within your Kubernetes clusters, as I said before. Um, so, Traffic routing is controlled by these rules defined on the ingress resource, okay? So an ingress may be configured to give services external reachable URLs, okay? Load balance traffic, terminate SSL or TLS, and it also offers name-based virtual hosting, as I said earlier on. An ingress controller is responsible for fulfilling the ingress, usually with a load balancer, though it may also configure your edge router or additional front ends to help manage or handle the traffic. An ingress does not expose arbitrary ports or protocols, exposing services other than HTTP and HTTPS to the internet may typically use services of um, services of type node port or uh, load balancer. Okay, so basically that is the idea, traffic routing. And those traffic routing is based on certain rules. Okay, so if you look at the YAML or manifest file, you see that the kind is what ingress, and it's coming from the API version networking. And then it has a meta name, simple find out example. And then the rules, how do you direct traffic or route traffic? It has to be based on certain rules. So if you look at this rule, we have um, a host name or a DNS name, foo.bar.com. Okay, and under it, you have a path. So if you combine this host and then the path, you should get HTTP or HTTPS foo.bar.com forward slash foo or bar. Okay, <clears throat> that is just one side of it. Um, and also if you look at the, the next path, this path is, is a sub uh, route under this uh, domain name foo.bar.com. So you, you get um, dot com forward slash bar and um, the path type is prefix okay it could be exact there are so many um, um, options available and then the back end you see both both services has a back end so what this thing means is that when anybody visit forward slash full bar they get directed to service one running on port 4,200, okay? That is what it means. So anybody who visit this route, forward slash FUBA, direct them to the service called 
um, service one and uh, 4200 port. The same applies to foo.bar.com forward slash bar. If anybody visit this route, um, direct them to this service two and then running under um, this port 8080. So that is what um, this whole manifest means, okay? So again, if we come to this cluster, you see the client is outside the cluster. They send in some requests and your request guests or guests managed by the ingress controller. You see it comes with an IP address, external IP address. And then once they visit, um, they hit this um, ingress controller based on the route, let's say, HTTPS or HTTP 17891.123.132 forward slash full bar, they get routed to service number one. And those service then forward your request to the corresponding port. Okay. The same applies here. When you visit forward slash bar, automatically your request gets routed to service number two running under port 8080. And then the service will then route or forward your request to the appropriate port contained in a, um, within a container, a container is within the port. So they get routed and then you get a response back. Okay, the client will then get a response back. So the, this same diagram shows exactly the same idea. Traffic comes in, they get hit by the load balancer, and then the load balancer will forward the request to the ingress controller. And under the ingress controller, depending on which route you visit, it then forward the, the request to the appropriate service, and then the service will then forward your request to the appropriate port. Okay, same applies to forward slash foo, foo is routed to service number one, and then bar forward request to service number two. Okay, so basically um, that is the idea. And also there are so many different kinds of um, ingress controllers, and these are managed by external or third party uh, companies. Um, so these are a whole bunch of them but there are certain popular ones like the ambassador and um, HA Prozy in Ingress is also very popular. ETO Ingress also popular. Nginx Ingress, one of the most popular ones on the market. Yeah, so um, if you want to investigate some of these Ingress controllers, you can inv investigate them. And um, for based on your use case, you can investigate them and um, I think you find whatever you're looking for. Um, yeah, so basically this diagram also depicts what I just said. Uh, the client hits the ingress controller. In this case, it's Nginx. And then the request get uh, forwarded to the appropriate service and then the, the service forward the request to the appropriate port. Okay, so basically that is the idea behind um, this diagram, okay? Um, I think that is it for this slide. Um, I'm going to jump into a demo. So I'm going to switch to my terminal. Okay, so let's check our Kubernetes clusters. Um, Cube CTL get nodes. Okay, so as you can see, I have two Kubernetes clusters running on uh, Azure AKS. Um, I can also check get nodes. Now get port. Okay, let me just do namespaces. Okay, so as you can see, we just have uh, 
four namespaces by default. So I'm going to create a namespace. Um, kubectl create namespace, and then I'm going to call it um, ingress hyphen basic. Okay. And then I'm going to switch to this um, namespace. Okay. So currently, we are using the ingress basic namespace. Okay. So let's take a look at um, web one dot yamo. Okay. So I'm going to cut. So if you look at this uh, yamo file, you can see it's just a, a deployment, and then it has just one replica. And then the image we are using is this um, AKS Hello World uh, V1. And it's running on container port 80. And it has one environment variable called title. And then the value is welcome to Azure Kubernetes Services AKS. OK. So we can also look at the web 2. And this web two is also another deployment, one replica set, and it's running on this image, hello app 2.0, okay? And it's also running on container 8080. You see the first container is running on 80, um, and then the other container is running on 8080, as we saw in the diagram, okay? One was running on 4200, and then the other one was running on, um, yeah, I think it's 8080, okay? And then the other, so we can look at a service, okay? Cat service dot YAML. So in this YAML file, we have two services, okay? Separated by three dashes, okay? And you see the first one is labeled as what, web one. And it's it, the target port is 80 because the container is actually running on 80, okay? And then the service port is 80, okay? So in this case, we are making the service port the, the, the same as the target port, okay? And on the second service, the target port was what, 80? As you can see here, it's 80 for this image. And then we are making the service port 80, okay? We are changing it to 80. So all our service port is, is, is on 80, 80, okay? So that is, that is that. And then let's also look at the ingress YAML file. So as you can see, the kind is what ingress. The name is for hello world ingress. And then um, it has two paths. You see, one is pointing to service name called web one on port 80. And then the other one is routing to a default route, forward slash only, that's the path. And then the other image, when you route to forward slash V2, then it's going to call this service web two. Okay, and we know web two is running on port 8080. And then web one is running on service port 80. Okay, so basically this is just the, the ingress um, dot YAML file. So when users route their request to the, um, the forward slash or the index path, they, they call web one. When they route to V2, they're gonna call or route their request to service um, name called web two. Okay, so that is what it means. So we, in this case, we have two different images. Um, this image, as well as this image. So what it means is that this image could be written in Java. Okay, and this image could be written in Python or Golang. They are microservice, okay? 
two different se separate applications, but they are all interacting with each other. Okay. So that is where the fun comes in. You can develop your app with different um, programming language, but you're able to integrate all of them into, into one into one as, as a microservices, okay? So let's look at the demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these four files, web one, web two, service ingress, okay? So what I can do is I'm going to say kubectl apply f web web hyphen one and then hyphen f web two. I'm going to run this. Okay, see the two deployments have been created. I'm going to do for apply hyphen f service. The two services also created. And then the last one, I'm going to point to the ingress and create that as well. Okay, so all our services is being created. So I can say kubectl get uh, all in the ingress basic, basic namespace. So as you can see, the two ports are running. And then this is the two service. And then this is the deployment, the two deployment, and then the replica set. Okay, so we can also scale this deployment. Let's just scale web one only. Okay, web one, let's scale this deployment scale deployment to five replica sets um, and it's called web one. Okay, that is the name. And then we increasing it to five. Okay, it's been scaled. So what I can do is um, I can get everything. You see for web one, we are increasing it to five replica sets. Okay, you see three out of five ready. And then web two, we only have one replica set. Let's assume that there's a lot of requests coming to our web one. So we want to increase um, the replica sets to five. So that is why we are doing this. There are certain times that pressure comes to one of your endpoints than others okay so if you're able to track such a scenario then it's good to scale your endpoints um based on the requests that are coming in so we can also scale um to three for web two okay so let's assume that uh, web one has more traffic than um web two okay so let's scale that as well Okay, so as you can see, web two, we have uh, three replica sets, and then web one, we have five of them. And as you can see, web one has five out of five, and then web two has three out of three. Okay, so now let's check our ingress controller. kubectl get ingress. Okay, so now our ingress is ready. So, the name of our ingress is called hello world ingress. And then the class is none. And then the host name, the, this host name is usually a domain name, okay? A domain name like, let's say, um, let's say go data prof.com. Okay, those are the host name. If you specify that in your, um ingress manifest file this is what your clients are going to use to send requests to your your service okay in this case we don't have any uh, host name or dns name so 
it is empty for now. We are going to just use the public um, IP address, this one. Okay, so let's describe, describe ingress. And then the name of the ingress is what? Hello world ingress. Okay, so if you look at it, um, this ingress is found in the ingress namespace with this public IP address. And then there's a default backend, default hyphen HTTP backend colon 80. Um, error endpoint default is not found anyway. We don't have any default backend. But if you look at the host, the host is also empty. And then look at the paths. We have only two paths or, or routing, okay? The index routing and then the V2 route, okay? And the backend is what? Web1 on 80, which is the service port. And then Web2, which is 8080. And then if, remember, we scaled the application to five replica for Web1. So that's why we have this internal cluster IP addresses, five of them. You see one, two, three, and two more. And then for web two, we have three of them. Okay, these are internal cluster IP addresses. And then some annotations, okay. Um, yeah, so I think that is all um, for now. So if I kill this IP address, Let me clear the screen. And then if I call this IP address and go to the index, you see, we have an um, HTML page that says what? Welcome to Azure Kubernetes service. Okay. And um, yeah, we have an image um, called acs.png. So if we route to forward slash v2, which I said, you see, this is our response, hello world version two. And then the, the host name is web two six W P V V. Okay. So let me visit that again. You see the request gets sent to this new port. You see, this is the first port that the request was sent to. And then the second time I run that, um, it gave me this. So as many as people are visiting this uh, route, it will be directing them to the appropriate uh, port. Okay, so if I run it again, it goes back to the first one. If I run it again, it goes to um, a third port. Okay, so basically we are getting what we are expecting. Okay, so the routing is working or the request is working based on the route. The more you visit this URL, the, the right port they get routed to. Okay, so let's look at the, um, the browser. Let's visit the browser to check. Okay, so this is the, the browser. So if I run that IP address, you see, um, if I route to v2 forward slash v2, this is what to get, you see, this is the, the name of the port. Okay, if I run it again, you see, it get routed to another port. If I refresh, it routed to another, uh, port. So let me keep refreshing. You see, it keep changing. You see, because we only have um, three port for web two, that's why I keep alternating between the three different port. You see, so if I keep refreshing, it get routed to the appropriate port. So that is that. If I go to the index page, you see, we get the response, welcome to Azure Kubernetes Service AKS, okay? So basically this is what Ingress 
controllers are all about okay so we have two different services microservices that are being routed um based on the the route we choose okay so uh, assuming this was um video streaming app once you go to forward slash video assuming it was a shopping cut you go to forward slash shopping then you see when we go to this because the url doesn't exist we get this uh, message okay so if you go to video also it doesn't exist so we're going to get an error but when we go to v2 we get this uh, response when we go to the index we get this response yeah so basically this is all about um, ingress controller um I, I i almost forgot something that i need to show you um so to enable you see ingress controller doesn't get enabled by default in azure kubernetes service so you have to enable it okay so uh, this page that says what easy aks add-on so this is how you can enable your ingress controller okay so this is the disable and um, the disable command as well as enable command so you can visit this page to learn more i'll also leave this um, url in the description box you can check it out you see you need to enable it before it, it it works if you don't want to run it through the cli you can also go to the dashboard to enable it okay so i'll show you where to enable it so this is the dashboard so if you come to networking if you click on networking so if you click on networking and then you will see application gateway ingress controller enable ingress controller okay so you just need to check this box okay and it should get enabled for you on the fly okay if you don't want to come to the dashboard you can um, use the command to enable the ingress controller okay so i think that is all for um this tutorial um please don't forget to like the video share and subscribe and it will help the channel grow for from strength to strength and um i'll see you in the next one